The NBA season, 178 playoff games. He worked here yesterday, 14 finals games. Eric Dalen is 15th NBA season, worked the playoffs last year. Moose pass behind Brandon, but Aldama is there to pick it up. Shot clock down to eight. Bain, deep three. Bango. Grizzlies on the board first. And the Grizzlies have the first five. Marcus Smart, a scoop and a score. Defense is he makes you work so hard to get the ball that when you get it, you feel like it's time for me to get a shot. Morant that time gets it up and over Al Horford. Morant shooting just 35% in the last three. Of course, he missed one game due to illness. And a lot there for Tatum. He can hurt you on the offensive end. Coming off his first double-double of the season, too. Clark spins, flips it up and in. He should have had an one with the arm wrapped around his waist by Tatum. Indeed, Jalen Brown with a long-distance miss. Grizzlies have held their last two opponents to fewer than 100 points. Dylan works the baseline and reverses it up and in. That's going to be hard to do against Boston. It's going to be very hard because of the amount of threes that they're going to take and the number of guys that can make threes for this team. Smart finding Brown underneath. John Conchar, Xavier Tillman headed to the scorer's table for the Grizzlies. Great look, Tatum with the slam. And Marcus Smart has his fingerprints all over this game. No shortage of wing players for the Celtics team. Morant elevates, misses. Tillman sets up Conchar for an open three. Bango! Grizzlies now six second chance points off of two offensive rebounds. Celtics team not big on the interior. Grizz will have opportunities. Brown got all the way to the cup. Grizzlies will put it back in play down three following the tech seven on the shot clock Morant drives lays that one up and in Works against Hauser on the baseline tries to take him to the rim shot clock down to three Bain a pump fake got to go floats it up and in at the shot clock buzzer and Good screen set by Tillman and Ty is able to get to that patented left hand drive right hand floater Finally, pitches it out. Hauser for three. He's got nine 20-point games. Only Kevin Durant has more than Jason Tatum, who's seventh in the league, averaging 30 a game. Tatum with six so far. Conchar paints in a three. It kind of is because it's after a quarter timeout, but the Grizzlies able to execute the play drawn up by Taylor Jenkins. Brogdon, who battled injuries in Indiana, laces that triple. Shot clock down to six. Clark going to work in the paint. That won't go. Rebound is tapped out. Roddy, now Bain. Bain off the bounce. A kick out and an Aldama. Three is through. Four offensive rebounds for the Grizzlies. They've turned into 13 big points. Big return on investment. White in the lane. Derek White. Brogdon able to turn the corner in deep. Lines up a Tatum triple. That's in. Jason Tatum. But the grid have to stop dribble penetration, and they can't overhelp. You can't have multiple guys helping. That's leaving the three-point line open as Tatum gets all the way to the basket with that dribble penetration. Long shots, long rebounds. But scramble defense also is leading to no box out responsibilities. So is able to get extra possessions. Tatum for three. And eight of 15 from three. Brogdon on the deck against Roddy. Out of the corner, that three is down by Jalen Brown. Tatum against Roddy, puts it on the deck, got to the cup and laid it in. You said defensively, the Grizz, you have to take away the arc against this team if you're going to have a chance. Brogdon steps inside the arc and a heavily contested jumper and Malcolm Brogdon rolling off the bench. He said, the thing is, it's such a luxury to go to the bench and come off with a guy that is a proven starter in this league. 20 straight points, and that streak is ended by that Morant triple. Because they are very good at standstill shooting. They got five guys on the floor that shoot the three. Morant has an answer. 13 and 11 dimes against the Knicks on Saturday night, averaging six assists. He has that many already. Laravia. A back step three is through for Jake Laravia. Dylan, full head of steam, but underlaid it. Tough shooting. I have a good hustle here by Dylan to get it back. And a good throw ahead to Brandon Clark for the slam.
Rodgers. He's lead the league, averaging 32 points in third quarters. Bain drives, scoop scores off glass. Desmond Bain. Because one-on-one, -on -one, they flooded the paint, so there's multiple guys are trying to score between. Ja for three. It's through. Third triple for Morant, 16. Williams, the rebound underneath. And the Grizzlies forced to chase as Boston continues to make the extra pass. And Brown inside for the dunk. Just catch it and finish. Did a fantastic job. Clark getting the start tonight. Horford wide open. And makes the Grizzlies pay. It doesn't matter as Bain is the board for the Grizzlies. Morant, a walk-up three. It's through for John Morant. Four of eight from downtown. Nightmare shooting nights. Bain ahead of the field. Boston was ball watching. Did not get back defensively. Alvarado said he didn't stay in the backcourt hiding the weeds. He had the weeds to run out for a layup. Seventh assist by Morant. Tatum spins baseline and banks it home. 28 for Tatum. And the Grizzlies, again, have been struggling with shots in the paint tonight. And a lot of smart to Al Horford. That has not played meaningful minutes in this type of game. So this is valuable education for them. Brown has stepped that gun that goes. Conchar and Laravia in, Brooks and Aldama out. Meaningful minutes against the defending Eastern Conference champion. Morant, a step back gun. He got that. Great move by Morant, 21 for Ja. Brown only one of six now from the long line. Morant scoops and scores and the foul. Mm, mm, mm. John Morant also finding his rhythm offensively. Third foul, Jalen Brown. Shot clock down to six. Bain down the lane, elevates and hits. Gesturing Brooks to the sideline. Morant against Vonley, a crossover, elevates and hits. Morant 14 in the quarter. Shot clock down to five. Laravia, a pump fake, a Conchar open three for the lead. It's in! And the Grizzlies lead at 85 84. See if that holds true tonight. Grizzlies by one. Brogdon into a seam. Brown drives, scoops, and scores. Dylan behind a Tillman screen. Conchar covered up by Tatum. Conchar bangs down a triple. And the rebound to Jalen Brown. Aldama and Morant at the scores table. Brown down the lane, lays it up and in, and the Grizzlies call for time. And the crowd sees the replay. And they're not real thrilled with it. Smart, the hoop and the harm. Tatum off the bounce against Aldama. So we're talking about that foul trouble. Morant, a pull up three. Tatum. And the Grizzlies take one of their two remaining timeouts. Such a smooth score. It's, a, it's 37. And it's not a robust 37. He just gives them what they need. Dylan a turn and gun off glass. Yes. So a minute 49 remaining. He's one of the guys. These guys that get the front of the ball, so he's got to take a shot. Good move here. Bain back to the rim. Hustling it up. Brooks, Morant calling for it, wants a three, a sidestep, triple, it's in by Morant, 105, 101, 41 seconds remaining. Four straight misses by Boston, a four-point game. Dylan drives, attacks, 105, 105. Hits two free throws to make it a four-point game. Morant for three, supported by Conchar. Bain, a flyby, a three by Bain, and it's in. With 2.9. Oh. Here's the other thing. See, do the Celtics foul when the ball comes inbound? Exactly. There's Morant. He slips. And that's the ball.